Welcome to Shoe Week, day seven, day seven of seven of one week of shoe videos. We made it. So this video today here is going to be going over ways that you can wear those strap up, lace up, whatever we call those sandals, because, you know, I think sometimes it's like, what do you wear them with? Is it gonna look right? Is it gonna look funny? All that sort of thing. So I just have a number of ways. Some of them are specific to the way that you tie them. Some of it, I guess I'd call it loose outfit ideas. And if you wanna hang until the end, there's actually a trick to make these things stay up. I don't know about you guys, but I've tried originally to make these things stay up before I saw this hack on TikTok. So I'll share that with you as well at the end. I'm coming at you. This is vacation gen right now. You're going to see two different gens in this video, by the way. It sort of is what it is. <laughs> Let's go. Let's do it. First way that I want to talk to you guys about is actually a way that I thought it wouldn't really look that great. And that is with a pair of cropped jeans. I should tell you that everything, by the way, that I'm going to be showing in this video will be linked below. I believe all the shoes were actually in my Target Shoe Week episode one video, uh, but I will make sure to link them below as well. I really like how these look with a pair of crop jeans. I sort of didn't expect that. Now, I am wearing them here in this clip with a pair of black jeans, which I love these jeans, by the way. I will link these jeans for you. They are so good. I will show you what they look like on my full body so that you can see that, like, well, that you can see that I think that they look good. <laughs> you can decide if you think that they look good. So yeah, it looks super cute with a pair of cropped jeans, just generally speaking. These next two ways involve probably something that you may have seen from influencers, and it involves the idea of wrapping them around your pants. Okay, so I have to tell you, I thought that I was going to love this, but I actually, I actually hate it. I actually hate it. So the trick that I'm going to show you guys at the end in terms of like how to make this stay, it really does work for me, at least personally, personally, when I am wearing them on my bare leg, so to speak but it does not work for me when I'm wrapping these things around a pan. If you know a trick to make these things stay when they are wrapped around something other than your bare leg, please leave that down in the comments so that we can all benefit from that information. So I did the whole kind of loose, wide leg, long pant, wrapping them around where, you know, you kind of see it bunch at the ankle and then sort of, you know, flare out for lack of a better word. And honestly, I thought it looked okay. I actually thought it looked okay. I'm gonna talk about another way here in a second. Side note, you can also do this with jeans. I haven't done this with jeans, but I know you can do it with wide leg jeans as well. And what I actually liked better is I had a pair of straight leg pants that were sort of like a linen, maybe sort of a dress pant from Target. And then I wrapped it at the bottom to sort of make it almost go down into a tapered leg. I actually liked the way that looked better. That's really not what you're seeing I feel like on influencers as much. I feel like you're seeing more the wide leg and then you're seeing it wrapped around and then flare out. I liked the other way, but I'm telling you either way, they fell on me. Like it was not a sustainable look for me, but I do know people wear them. So I wanted to share that because it is a way to wear them. I just, there's gotta be a trick to it to make them stay. Anyway, wrapping them around pants, straight leg, wide leg jeans, probably any jeans really, or wide leg pants. Hey, sorry to interrupt. I am just popping in. Let me know what you think about shoe week, about this video specifically. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I would absolutely love to hear. And if we haven't met yet, by the way, I'm Jen. I'm Jen, the host from earlier, Jen from Jen the Real Fluencer. And my channel here is all about fashion, style. I love to make outfits on this channel. We do a lot of hauls on this channel. And it's really about helping you be your most confident self through really all of those things. That is always my approach. So if you think that sounds interesting, Interesting. Definitely consider subscribing. I always like to say, you know, subscribe if you're awesome. I should have already warned you, but I am a little bit goofy. Maybe you've seen that. Maybe you haven't. I don't know. But subscribe if you're awesome. And yeah, let's keep going on the video. Next, I wanted to experiment with them sort of a little bit more gladiator style where you're really pulling them up your calf. So I did a bathing suit look, which these pants need to be ironed, you guys, you know, the, the drill. I, I sometimes I just can't be bothered. I don't have time. Uh, so they're wrinkled. But I wore it with a bathing suit look with one of those, uh, I'd call it like a tulip style pant that are meant to be like a swim cover up. And by the way, I will link all the pants below. They're all either from Walmart or Target, generally speaking. I'll link them all with size references, all the things. I recommend every single pair of pants and showing here. And yeah, I liked that. I feel like it's sort of an upscale pool look, an upscale 
scale. I, you know, I'm probably not going to wear these on the beach. I feel like the second you wear stuff in the sand, it ruins it. Does anybody relate to that? Like, I feel like the second you wear something, I'm like smacking. The second you wear it in the sand, it's like ruined. I don't, I don't understand. I don't necessarily feel like it's like that with bags or clothes, it, but shoes, I don't know. So anyway, but if you're going to a high-end pool party, I mean, I generally, I, I don't do those sorts of things, but other people do, you know. <laughs> Uh, I don't do that. I, I'm not fancy, but you know, it's a look, right? It's a look. So that's another way. The way I'm wearing them right now, uh, fit check Jen, let's do quick fit check Jen. And I'll, I will pop in a photo cause we're going to take pictures at dinner tonight. And I'm going to edit this video when I get home tonight after dinner, this is a maxi dress. And I have a pair of sort of like that raffia style under this dress. They're climbing up my calf, probably part of the way I would say. I'm obviously inserting how it looked here tonight at dinner, future Jen. Did it look good future Jen? I hope so. Uh, <laughs> I feel like that looks really cute because under a maxi dress, particularly one that is split, it pops out right as you walk. And I just feel like that's a really cool beachy, resorty, vacay vibe. I just feel like it really looks really cool. It really, really, a lot of the work really. And this dress, you guys, mm, 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 I'm going to link it. It's from Amazon. It is so beautiful. And I'm wearing my Wonder Bra strapless bra. If you didn't see my strapless bra video where I tried a bunch of strapless bras so you don't have to, I will link that below. This was the one that I was recommending for the, the cleavage, the clavage. And I feel like it looks good. I'm happy with it. I'll also link it below. I'll link everything below. I'll link everything below. Okay. Moving on. I wore another pair sort of, I'd say wrapped around the ankle, more like bunched at the ankle, I would say with a jumpsuit. It was a little bit of a cropped jumpsuit and I thought that looked super cute. I don't have an example here to show you of really just how they would look with shorts, a dress, a romper. I feel like that all sort of looks the same because it's just on the leg, but obviously you can wear it with all of those things. I don't have those examples for you, but as long as you like it going up your leg, it certainly would look good uh, like that as well. And then my favorite look I wanted to save for last. And this, you guys, I often do my Instagram top five. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it done this month, but I believe, don't quote me if I'm wrong, but I believe this was the top look. And I'm telling you, it's because of the shoes with these sandals. Like it's just the shoes with these sandals, the pants, Jen, the pants with these sandals. Again, I will link the pants below. They're from Target. But essentially what it is, it's a cropped wide leg with it bunched at the bottom so that you sort of see it versus like the one that we talked about earlier was more of, it was a wide leg that went closer to the ground and then you would wrap it around and it would sort of flare out. The idea of this is it stops before the sandal and then you sort of see the sandal just at the bottom. It adds such an awesome touch, I feel like, to an outfit. As you can see this outfit here, it was all black, nothing special so to speak and I'm telling you I believe it was the number one look because of the sandals gave it that little bit of pizzazz. I said in my Target video that I've never felt so almost like sexy wearing a pair of flat shoes. I, I love flat shoes. I mean, I'm a flat shoes chick, right? I love sandals. Sneakers are my favorite. They're my jam. Um, and I just feel though like, feel though like high heels are usually what makes me feel the sexiest or at least something that has some sort of elevation. But these sandals, these sandals were our were, are slash a game changer for me. I'm obsessed. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. The big trick, I'm gonna demo this for you here. It's basically when you crisscross it. So I think normally when I went to go put these on, I would just crisscross. I'm like, you know, front to back, crisscross, go to the front, crisscross, go to the back, crisscross, however many times you're doing that. But the key here is when you crisscross, you also twist it, crisscross it and then twist and then go to the other part of your leg. That for me, when on my bare leg, has really made all the difference. I've tried that method on where you're trying to wrap it around your pants, that it doesn't work. It doesn't, it doesn't have the same stick. Maybe there's a different method for that. Like I said, if you know, please leave that uh, down below. Sorry, this video was a little bit all over the place in terms of uh, different gens, uh, but I'm excited to be able to share my vacay with you, vacay outfit. I think that's, I think that's it. Uh, now back to, pre-scheduled gen. I don't know. Bye. This gen says bye. This gen says bye. You are still here. I cannot thank you enough. Please leave me a heart emoji 
or the word shoe week so that I know you made it all the way to the end of this video and I can appreciate you so much. And don't forget to subscribe if you're awesome. Give this video a thumbs up if you thought it was, you know, like halfway decent. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!